Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to lubricate the wheel bearings on that trailer axle. Today we're working on uh, our camper, the uh, open range OT310 BHS. We bought this camper uh, last year. Check out our other video of a tour of the camper and another video of, that we'll be putting out soon of the likes and dislikes of this style camper. So once you get the wheel off, and, or you have everything jacked up, and then you get the wheel off, I'm gonna take off this dust cap. If you need to see a video about how to jack up your camper, stabilize it on jack stands, post uh, some comments down below, and I can post a video on how to do that. Take a rubber mallet. Work your way around the dust cap. So it works loose. So it popped off. You want to check the uh, the rubber seal here, the grommet on the front end, it's the cover for the uh, quick lube, easy lube. Make sure that is completely sealed up, uh, there's no holes in there like that, otherwise dust, dirt, water can get in there. Now these uh, spindles do have the quick lube or the easy lube with the zerk fitting on it. I don't like to use those because I mean yeah you can grease your bearings but you can't inspect anything or look at anything. You need to you know, pull the stuff apart, look at the bearings, look at the bearing races. Make sure everything's still good to go. What we have on here is we have a cotter pin, castellated nut, and then there's a flat washer, and then you have your outer bearing. So go ahead and take the needle nose pliers, bend the cotter pin straight, grab the head, pull it back through. The cotter pins are a one time use item, so make sure you go to the store and uh, pick up a couple cotter pins. Another good thing to do is have a rag on the ground here to put all your components on as you uh, take them apart. Take a crescent wrench and then just break loose the uh, castellated nut. Shouldn't be much torque on it at all. Most of them are usually just hand tight. If this is torqued down too much then your wheel's not going to spin. take everything apart you just want to clean it up wipe it down inspect everything make sure there's no corrosion no pitting discoloration of the metal which would indicate excessive heat kind of work it loose a little bit and then that'll give you access to the flat washer almost dropped it wipe that down again same thing corrosion any pitting pretty good and okay, got the bearing itself out of there pull that out wipe it down inspect it Good. There's no pit in, no corrosion. Surface still nice and smooth on the inside. Bearing still spins freely. Lay that down on my clean towel. We'll go ahead and pull the drum off. Be careful as you're pulling it off. You don't want it to drop and hit the spindle. Could damage it, nick it, gouge it, or you could damage the threads. And then here, 
on the inside you have a barren seal right here and then you have a barren on the inside and on the outside here where the barren was where the barren sits is the barren race there's one on the inside for the inside barren so once we get everything apart we'll go ahead and wipe those down and make sure that the, the barren races are good just take a tool seal puller and just want to gently work your way around on the inside and work the uh, barren seal loose so that pops off again barren seals you can reuse them if they're in good shape I like to replace them Everything sealed up nice and good. Pull the inner bearing out. It's the larger of the two bearings. And we'll go ahead and put this guy down. it for any pit in corrosion discoloration looks pretty good it spins freely the next step is we just want to wipe out all this excess grease inside on these barren races so we can inspect those as you're getting uh, everything apart and grease on your hands you'll be careful not to touch this inner surface of the drum or the actual brake pads themselves. You don't want to get grease on uh, your braking components because then you won't be able to stop. Check the inner bearing race. It's nice and smooth. And flip it over. Do the same thing on the out outer edge. Flip everything down. Check the barren races. Any pit in corrosion, discoloration. And again, these ones look pretty good. thing to do is clean up the grease on the spindle and inspect that if you do happen to uh, get any grease on the drum itself or up on the brake pads just take some uh, brake clean spray it on there clean all that stuff off and the spindle looks pretty good Next step is we're going to take the bearing and then we're going to pack it with grease. What we're going to do is this edge here, we're going to put some grease on our palm, on our hand, and then work it through. I'll show you that here. You get some grease, a big glob of grease on your hand. And we're just going to Go ahead and work that grease right into that that groove there. What you want to do is you want to do that until you see the clean grease come out the top. First you'll see some black grease, which is the older grease, and then right behind that should be the new grease that we're putting in. It should have that red squeezing out this top. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the dirty grease, the old stuff coming out. And once you 
see the new grease coming out, you just want to turn a little bit and just keep working your way around until the bearing is uh, fully packed with grease. Got it worked all the way around. So we go ahead and just make sure everything's coated in a nice layer of grease. Go ahead and set that down. We're gonna do the same thing for the uh, the outer bearing. Just work your way around until you get the clean grease coming out of this uh, top space here in the barren. It's all packed with grease. Just go ahead and work the way around, coat everything in grease. You still have some grease on your hands. I'm gonna wipe some on the, uh, the spindle itself. Give you a nice, uh, nice coating of grease. The next thing to do is uh, flip 
put over our drum here and reinstall the bearings. Take our inner bearing, as you can see, bearings are of a conical shape. Double check it one more time, make sure there's no dirt or anything blowing on it. Bearings go to get it goes in. The cone shape goes the smaller part of the cone goes in or down. And then we grab our new uh, barren seal. My gloves off. Grab our new barren seal. So this model has uh, 5,200 pound axles. It's a two and a quarter inch seal. Set it in there. Make sure it's centered and it's uh, level across the top. Simplest way to do it, just take a two by four or block of wood, set it on there. And work your way back and forth until the barren seal, until the barren seal is nice and flush. Just want to rub your finger along the edge here. Make sure it's uh, no raised edge. It's nice and flush and it's even all the way around. Once that's on, ready to slide the drum on. Careful not to damage the spindle as you're putting it on. Got to spin it a little bit to get it all the way on. That's in there. Next, you're ready to put on the outer bearing, smaller one. Grab another pair of gloves. Put back a Got my clean pair of gloves on. Go ahead, grab our bearing. Again, the conical shape, smaller part of the diameter of the cone goes inboard. We have to wiggle the drum a little bit to get it all the way on there. That goes the washer. And the castellated nut. Screw that all the way on until it's as tight as you can get, get with your uh, fingers. Grab my wrench, tighten it down. What I like to do, make sure everything's seated, is tight it or tighten the castellated nut until it can't spin the drum. And then I'll back it off. Castellation. So you get a nice free spin movement. Something like that is good. The holes lined up. Get myself a new cotter pin. Go ahead and install the new cotter pin. Cotter pin or the uh, castellated nut just slightly to get the cotter pin in there to fit. And bend 
powder pen. Powder pins in place. Last step is to reinstall the dust cap. Go ahead and wipe that down a little bit. Again, like I said earlier, make sure the uh, plat or rubber grommet is not broken. If it is, go ahead and replace it. Line that up, center it, and tap it on with the rubber mallet. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos that we do. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.